Hey everyone, welcome. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. The vendors have reset, and we are going to start off with the clan vendor. Uh, keep in mind that both the vendor in New York and in DC have the exact same item, so go ahead and, and choose whichever one you'd like to visit. We have a Mozambique special here with 12% pistol damage, 20.5% optimal range, and perfect bread basket. A tip of the spear chest piece with 14 weapon damage, 9.7 skill haste. A true patriot mask with 145,470 armor and 4.7 crit hit chance. Some striker knee pads with 13.9 weapon damage and 7.2 explosive resistance. A PX4 storm with 10 pistol damage and 9 crit hit damage with strained. A SOCOM MK20 SSR with 12 marksman rifle damage, 92 headshot, uh, 3.8 rate of fire and preservation. A black market M60 E6 with 11 LMG damage, 10 damage to target out of cover, 12.5 swap speed and in sync. An Oraldi's chest with 12.9 weapon damage, 6.4 explosive resistance, 11.8 crit hit damage with explosive delivery. A SIG 716 with 13 rifle damage, 14 crit hit damage, 8.3 reload speed, and future perfect. Some Overlord knee pads with 11.1 .1 weapon damage, 8.1 headshot damage, and 7.4 explosive resistance. A Walker Harris mask with 13.7 weapon damage, 14,739 health, 9.5 hazard protection. A defensive mod with 18 incoming repairs. An offensive mod with 4.7 crit hit chance. A shield mod with 4.4 shield health, and a drone mod with 8.7 health. Next we have the White House vendor. They've got the named Walker and Harris chest piece, the chain killer, with, oops, excuse me, 11.8 weapon damage, 8.2 hazard protection, 6.8 headshot damage with perfect headhunter. A converted SMG9 with 10 SMG damage, 13.5 crit hit chance, 8 crit hit damage with Outsider. A G36 enhanced with 9 AR damage, 13 health damage, 20 optimal range with future perfect. An X45 tactical with 15 pistol damage, 5 crit hit damage, and killer. A Petrov backpack with 11.6 weapon damage, 4 crit hit chance, 10.5 crit hit damage with tech support. An Overlord chest piece with 10.6 weapon damage, 15,518 health, 7.1 explosive resistance, and tag team. An offensive mod with 9.9 .9 crit hit damage. A drone mod with 6.3 duration. A turret mod with 4.3 damage, and sticky mod with 5 blast radius. Next we'll check the theater. We've got a baker's dozen with 9 rifle damage, 14 crit hit damage, 4 damage to armor with perfect lucky shot. A custom M70 MCS with 8 shotgun damage, 12 damage to armor. 8 headshot damage with fast hands. A SIG 716 CQB with 10 rifle damage, 12 crit hit damage, 18 optimal range with reformation. Some Douglas and Harding gloves with 10.8 weapon damage, 10.1 crit hit damage, 8.2 health, uh, sorry, headshot damage. Some Providence knee pads with 11.5 weapon damage, 6.4 headshot damage, 6.5 weapon handling. A defensive mod with 8.3 blind slash deaf resistance. A seeker mod with 4.9 skill haste. A shield mod with 4.3 deflector damage. 
a Firefly mod with 7.8 speed, and a decoy mod with 6 duration. Next we'll check out the campus. We've got a designated hitter with 11 marksman rifle damage, 92 headshot damage, 8 crit hit damage with perfect reformation. A G28 with 11 marksman rifle damage, 94 headshot damage, 19 optimal range with spike. A classic RPK 74 with 12 LMG damage, 9 damage to target out of cover, 7.7 .7 accuracy with spike. A China Light Mask with 15.9 repair skill and 6 weapon handling. A Sokolov Holster with 11.7 .7 weapon damage, 8 status effect, and 10.5 crit hit damage. A Utility Mod with 10.2 skill haste. A Chem Launcher Mod with 6 radius. A Hive Mod with plus 4 repair charges. A pulse mod with 8.8 .8 radius, and a trap mod with 5.7 shock radius. And now in New York at Haven, we'll start at the first vendor. We've got a black market AKM with 10 assault rifle damage, 19 health damage, 11.6 swap speed, and status. An infantry MG5 with 10 LMG damage, 9 damage to target out of cover, 12.8 swap speed with Frenzy. A Tactical says 12k with 10 shotgun damage, 8 damage to armor, 13.8 swap speed with Pumped Up. A Snub Nose Dicerose with 10 pistol damage, 7 damage to target out of cover, and Perpetuation. A Petrov chest piece with 10.4 weapon damage, 9.7 skill haste, 8.3 status effect with Mad Bomber. Some Petrov knees with 11.3 weapon damage, 4,029 armor regen, 16,020 health. A Fenris mask with 10.6 weapon damage, 10.1 skill haste, and 6 weapon handling. A utility mod with 10.1 skill haste, a defensive mod with 16.8 incoming repair, a seeker mod with plus one cluster mines, a chem launcher mod with six radius, and a trap mod with six duration. And now to the next New York vendor. We've got a MK16 with 10 AR damage, 14 health damage, 12.1 swap speed and eyeless. A SOCOM MK20 SSR with 11 marksman rifle damage, 92 headshot damage, 9 magazine size, and first blood. A UIC 15 mod 2 with 12 rifle damage, 8 crit hit damage, 11.6 reload speed, and vindictive. An M45A1 with 10 pistol damage, 18 optimal range, and preservation. A Walker and Harris chest piece with 8 weapon damage, 9.8 .8 hazard protection, 5.5 headshot damage, and braced. Some Murakami knee pads with 4.6 crit hit chance and 3,649 armor regen. A Overlord mask with 11.1 .1 weapon damage, 10 crit hit damage, 6 weapon handling. A utility mod with 16.2 repair skills. A defensive mod with 11 protection from elites. A shield mod with 1% damage bonus. A firefly mod with plus 1 max targets. And a trap mod with plus uh, 5.9 second duration. And now to the dark zone vendors. Uh, keep in mind that these vendors only take dark zone credits which can only be found in the DZ. First, we've got Carnage with 10 LMG damage, 8 damage to target out of cover, 5 damage to armor with Perfect Sadist. Next, we have a Model 700 with 10 Marksman Rifle damage and 91 Headshot damage, 8.5 stability with Reformation. 
We have a custom L86A2 with 10 LMG damage, 8 damage to target out of cover, 10 reload speed with fast hands. We've got a future mask with 6.6 .6 headshot damage. A true patriot holster with 140,449 armor and 6.5 headshot damage. A China Light Mask with 4.7 crit hit chance, 6 weapon handling. A Grupo Holster with 10.3 weapon damage, 6 weapon handling, and 8.5 hazard protection. A Utility Mod with 10.3 skill haste. A Chem Launcher Mod with 7.9 ensnare duration. A Hive Mod with 4 range. A pulse mod with 6.2 cone size, and a trap mod with 5.9 duration. Next is DZ South. We've got a Glory Days with 12 AR damage, 16.5 health damage, 6.8 accuracy with perfect nearsighted. A Black Market T821 with 10 SMG damage, 13.5 crit hit chance, 12.2 swap speed with steady handed. A G36C with 9 AR damage, 13 health damage, 19 optimal range with Optimist. An M1911 with 10 pistol damage, 18 optimal range, and future perfect. A Negotiator's Backpack with 10.8 weapon damage and 6 weapon handling. A Tip of the Spear chest piece with 10.4 weapon damage and 10 crit hit damage. A Badger Backpack with 103,293 armor, 9.9 .9 status effect, 7.8 hazard protection with vigilance. A Fenris chest piece with 14.5 weapon damage, 3.5 crit hit chance, 4.5 weapon handling, and headhunter. An offensive mod with 4.4 crit hit chance. A drone mod with 4.9 damage reduction. A turret mod with 5.8 skill haste. And a sticky mod with 6.2 damage. And for the last vendor, DZ West, Are you looking for something we've got uh, the Firm Handshake with 10.2 weapon damage, 15 status effect, 15,166 health, a Spaz 12 with 13 shotgun damage, 10 damage to armor, 4 damage to target out of cover with Optimist. A SOCOM M1A with 8 rifle damage, 17 crit hit damage, 8 headshot damage with Sadist. Some Eclipse Gloves with 9.1 explosive resistance. Striker Knee Pads with 10.1 weapon damage, 4093 armor regen. Providence Gloves with 10.4 weapon damage, 3,821 armor regen, 15,342 health. Some Badger Knee Pads with 130,386 armor, 6 weapon handling, 3,918 armor regen. A Defensive Mod with 8.6 Disrupt Resistance. A Seeker Mod with 6.3 health. A Shield Mod with 4.3 Holster Regeneration. A Firefly mod with plus one max targets. And finally, a decoy mod with six duration. And that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all were able to find some items at the vendor this week that help improve your builds. Tomorrow I will be showcasing the items Cassie Mendoza has, so don't forget to check in tomorrow for that video. Also, if you're looking for a community to join and be a part of, click the link for Discord in the description of this video. We are always excited to have new members, and if you are looking for help with Operation Iron Horse, our community does raid help for those who need completions or just don't have people to play with. If you'd like to see some raid action, don't forget to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv meowmixer85. Have a fantastic week and stay awesome, everyone.